In this video, we are going to be installing Metasploitable 2 in VirtualBox and link it with Kali Linux. So what is Metasploitable 2? Metasploitable 2 is an intentionally designed vulnerable virtual machine which is used mostly for security testing and penetration testing purpose. Think of it as just like your home hacking lab, your personal playground where you can learn and test out different types of penetration testing attacks. So without further ado, let's get started with the installation process. By the way, before the installation process, you must have Oracle VM VirtualBox and Kali Linux installed in your system because we are going to be attacking the Metasploitable 2 with Kali Linux. If you do not have them installed, please check out the video in the link in the description box. So without further ado, let's get started. First, open up your browser, go to google.com and type Metasploitable 2 and press enter. And as you can see now, I have two links, one from Rapid7 and one from SourceForge. Go to the SourceForge URL, this is the URL, sourceforge.net and click on the download latest version and your download of the Metasploitable 2 will begin and wait for the download to get finished. After the download is finished, I will open the folder where the file got downloaded on. I can confirm this is the file that just got downloaded into the downloads folder. I will right click on the file and click on extract all and the folder Metasploitable Linux 2.0 will be extracted into the downloads folder so I'll click on extract and I can confirm this is the folder that just got extracted and now I will quit this and open my virtual box in the virtual box manager click on new here type the name which is metasploitable2 I will keep the folder as default the type would be linux and the version would be other linux 64 bit and then click on next the hardware I will keep everything as default so the base memory would be 512 megabyte and the processor would be one CPU. This is fine. And then click on next. Select use an existing virtual hard disk file and then click on this icon. Click on add. And now I will go to the Metasploitable folder. And I will select the Metasploitable virtual hard disk and then click on open. Click on choose and then click on next. And I am happy with this current configuration. I will click on finish and now we have to connect Kali Linux and Metasploitable 2 to the same network so that Kali Linux can reach Metasploitable 2. So click on File. Under Tools, click on Network Manager. Here, you have three options, Host Only Networks, Net Networks and Cloud Networks. Click on Net Networks and then click on Create. I can see Net Network 1 has been created. I will rename it to something simpler like Hacking Lab and the IPv4 prefix, I will change it to 192.168.1.0 forward slash 24 I will keep the enable DHCP as check mark and click on apply and my network has been created now I have to connect Kali Linux and Metasploitable 2 to this hacking lab network so first let me select Kali Linux and then click on settings I will then click on network here attach to make sure net network is selected and change the name to the network you just created which was hacking lab for me and then click on ok for the Metasploitable 2 I will click on Metasploitable 2 and click on settings I will select network, I will change the attached to to net network and it will be connected to hacking lab and then click on OK. And now we're all done. I will start my Metasploitable 2. And I can now confirm that the Metasploitable 2 has started perfectly. It's asking me for the login username, which is MSF admin. The password is also MSF admin and I'm successfully now logged in. If I check my IP with the ifconfig command, I can see my IP address is 192.168.1.4. Now let's start my Kali Linux and see if I can reach this Metasploitable 2 from my Kali Linux. So I'm in my Kali Linux right now and I will ping 192.168.1.4 and I can see that I get the reply back from Metasploitable 2. So that is how you connect Metasploitable 2 and Kali Linux in VirtualBox. And now you can perform different types of attacks on the Metasploitable 2 from Kali Linux. That is for the end of the video. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching.